Hello guys, and in today's video I'll be going over Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom main characters if they had main Pokemon. So, for the first one, let's start with Link. Obviously the main character, you play as him, and he wields the legendary sword, so I thought it would be appropriate for Aegislash to be his Pokemon. Second up, we got Zelda. In the game, she could control time, and she had the power of light, which is why I chose Gardevoir for being all powerful and stuff, being able to create like black holes out of nowhere, and other reasons that also relate. Third up on the list, we have Ganondorf, the big, the big bad guy in this game. So for him, I decided to choose another person that kind of took over, you know, the universe. So I chose Eternatus for basically all the same reasons. Fourth up, we got Raru, and the reason why I chose this Pokemon is because they both kind of founded the foundations of their universe. So I chose Mew because Mew created Pokemon and Raru created Hyrule. Fifth on the list, we have Riju, and the Pokemon I chose for her has nothing to do with her powers or anything, but actually something from the past game, which is her seal. seal. So I chose uh, Dugong for her Pokemon because of her seal. Next we have Minoru, and the Pokemon I chose for her is because in the game you have to build to get this Sage, so I chose Stack Attacka for her, well, main Pokemon. Next up on the list, we have Prince Sidon, who, honestly, probably my favorite of the Sages just because of their power. The Because of their power of creating, like, force field bubbles, I chose Puplio because they can also do that and such. So anyway, thank you for watching today's video, and make sure to subscribe for the next ones.